This is Hino's Sport, bringing you that heat and that fire. We keeping a foot on the what? On the next. We keeping a foot on the what? On the next. Now let's talk about it, man. <laughs> Hold up. So Terrence Buck Crawford, the the Chihuahua parking behind the damn fence. Let me say it again. The Chihuahua parking behind the damn fence said that Sean Porter is a fighter that if you want to step up and you want to get your fight game on, that's the guy you got to go through. Well, if that's the case, why aren't you fighting my buddy and me? My buddy and me. And number three, for the number of confirmation, my buddy and me. Why aren't you fighting him? Why are you and Sean Porter not squabbling it out? Why aren't you calling out Sean Porter? This is the problem with Terrence Buck Crawford. This guy is nothing but a roof, a chihuahua parking behind the damn fence. You want to sit here and dish Sean Porter. But last time I checked, at least one thing that I'm going to say about Sean Constipated Porter, he's actually fighting live gate opponents. At least he had the cojones to step into the ring against Earl the True Spence. What is your excuse, Terrence Buck Crawford? Why aren't you fighting any upper echelon of the welterweight division? Why did you duck your Dennis, your Dennis Ugas twice? Why did you duck Manny Pacquiao? Why did you duck Danny Garcia for Mean Machine, who dropped your ass within three rounds? Why did you duck Sean Porter four times? The same fighter that you just dissed. Things that make you say, hmm. Things that make you say, hmm. So the bottom line is this. If Terrence Buck Crawford thinks that Sean Porter is this fighter, that's just basically a glorified fighter that you have to fight before you could actually get a big fight. Then step into the ring with Sean Porter. You should be clamoring for that contract. And I thought we were going to have a fight November 21st between you and Kel Brook. See, this is the problem with boxing community fan bases. They don't hold Terrence Buck Crawford's feet to the fucking fire, man. Let me say it again. They don't hold Terrence Buck Crawford's feet to the fucking fire. You're fighting nothing but bums. And you're getting basically a nod of approval that you are a boogeyman when damn near you are snot nosed or snot filled booger man. Let me say it again. You are getting this supposed title of boogeyman when we know therefore or thereby you are snot nosed or snot filled booger man. Terrence Buck Crawford is a joke at 147. He's more of a joke than Danny Garcia. At least Danny Garcia stepping into the ring against Earl the Truth Spence. At least Danny Garcia called out Manny Pacquiao. Terrence Buck Crawford is the worst thing that happened to 147. I need to let that marinate in the corpus colossum and in the cerebellum. Hear me? Hear me? Wow. Terrence Buck Crawford is the worst thing that happened at 147. And anybody that's a Terrence Buck Crawford fan should be saying, Terrence Buck Crawford, no more excuses. We're sick and tired of the fucking excuses. Why aren't you fighting live gate opponents? But you're going to dish Sean Porter? At least Sean Porter can say that he fought Keith Thurman. At least Sean Porter can say he fought Danny Garcia. At least Sean Porter can say he fought Kell Brook. At least Sean Porter can say he fought Earl the True Smith. But who the fuck did you fight? John Molina? <laughs> Hank Lundy? <laughs> Julius Andago, <laughs> me machine. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. All he's doing, like he always does, is being a roof, a chihuahua parking behind a damn fence. Listen, the bottom line is this: at least Sean Porter has a career that he can look back on and say, you know what? Even though I didn't win all my fights, even though I'm a constipated fighter. Even though I lack the technical and the fundamental aspect of boxing that could have separated me from the pack and that could have gotten the job done because I do have the aggression, although it's ineffective, I still could have been in a position to where I could have turned this bad boy around. I could have turned this thing around. But Terrence Buck Crawford's not doing this. He's shelving himself for the super cash out slaughterhouse and I eat Earl the True Spence. That's the cold hearted. That's the unadulterated, and that's the cutthroat to tell fashion. Terrence Buck Crawford, you get the biggest what? Higgity hush of the fucking day. This is Hino's Sport. Checking out.